As I look back on the past year, I've been thinking a lot about what fills me up, what led me back home to myself, and how I felt nourished this year, not by external forces, but by me. I've been holding these questions close and coming back to them often. Because as I wind down for the year, I think it's important that I take inventory of how I fed myself emotionally, how I feed myself spiritually. Looking at what I'm taking in and what I'm examining allowed me and if I'm being honest, (laughs) allows me to figure out what I need, what I want on my plate, and what no longer belongs. So I want to ask you, when was the last time you felt full and comforted by your own company? When was the last time you truly felt nourishment of your soul? For me, I think it was when I was in Wyoming and Idaho on the tail end of my sabbatical and I was in the kitchen cooking from scratch, learning as I went, tasting as things bubbled and popped. I learned how to trust myself even more there And through cooking and self-nourishment and feeding myself literally, I learn how to love and care for me. As a mother of three and a wife and a teacher and a friend, it's easy to get caught up in the role of giver and extender, or should I say overextender. I always eat last when I'm at home cooking. Everyone gets served first. And as I walk into 2022, I want to start feeding and nourishing myself first. Not just in the literal sense, but in the emotional and spiritual sense. I want to start thinking more about making my own plate. What would be on there? What would it taste like? How would it make me feel? And so, as we look at today and the days to come and the new year that's around the corner, I'd like to invite you to do the same, to nourish yourself, to feed yourself, to replenish your soul, and to make a plate and sit down at your own table to enjoy it. Take care.